Hi, it's Amy here with another financial truth. Let's start with a recap. You guys, I'm gonna keep recapping at the beginning of each video because it's so important that you understand the financial truths of who sets the interest rates and understand inflation. If you remember, we started with trying to answer the question, what's going on with real estate? In order to do that, we have to understand what drives interest rates. It's not the Fed. Interest rates are directionally tied to inflation. Remember, inflation is when there's too few few dollars chasing too many goods. The Fed then makes getting credit more difficult so borrowing will slow down. In the last lesson, we talked about understanding inflation and how it's calculated, not just month over month, but also year over year by using the core CPI, which is Consumer Price Index. Having this information lets us predict what will be going on in the market. And I say it allows us to predict because it's not 100% guaranteed. Today, we're talking about lagging shelter costs and their impact on the core CPI. 43% of the core CPI is shelter cost, which are lagging. In order to understand this, we need to know that housing is viewed as a service that is made up of essentially two components. The first is owner's equivalent rent, or rather what we think we could ask for rent on our properties and actual rent. The second is lodging away from home. So your Airbnbs, your hotels, etc. These are always lagging. So it's hard to know what's real because of the lagging concept. Take a look at this chart. You can see that the Fed doesn't seem to realize that shelter costs are lagging from this data. They always looked at the old data or what's behind them and don't know how to look at what's ahead. Look at this purple line. This is the actual apartment listings year over year change. We knew that it had skyrocketed, but if we're here, we're looking at the last 12 months. We were just kind of tracking along until we finally caught up and we're like, oh my gosh. And now it appears to be 8.2%. But if the shelter were caught up, meaning if it wasn't lagging, then the core CPI would be at 3.2% versus the 5.6 spread. I just want to throw this out there for some perspective that we've seen asking rents come down, but it takes a little bit for that to get caught up in the numbers. The other thing I wanted to hit on is the other components of shelter being Airbnbs or hotel stays. So you'll see this crescent in shelter during the March time period. What do we typically know happens in March? If you're thinking of that second component of shelter with Airbnbs and hotels, that's typically when spring break is. So that's always going to be a crescent on our graph. Barry Habib had said that he believes we're going to start seeing this come down and see some easing of this which would be great news for what we can predict for interest rates. Barry is a recipient of three crystal ball awards for the accuracy of his real estate market forecast. Of course, there are other components that drive inflation and the core CPI, but at 43%, shelter is the largest and the fact that it's lagging is important to note. Sometimes the numbers that are shown on the media aren't really true and real because they're going off of the last 12 months annual rate. That average instead of real time. I hope this helps you understand the numbers a little bit more. Stay tuned for next week as we talk about what really happened with the jobless claims report from February.